The other day on TikTok, I posted this old photo of me from 2010. Clearly, I was feeling myself. RAR XD. Anyway, well, little did I know that this TikTok was gonna blow up, and I was gonna have hundreds of kids telling me that I am now fat and ugly. Yeah, that's awesome. What happened? Massive glowdown. You lost your swag. But my favorite comment of them all has to be, bro got fat and now his head is a circle. Ow, that one hurt a little bit. Mainly because it's true. So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna see how much weight I can possibly lose in the next 14 days. I wanna push myself and see what is humanly possible. I mean, plus, I would like to get rid of these love handles and this double chin I got going on. Hey, there he is. Yeah, I don't like that guy. So for the next 14 days, I'm gonna be lifting weights, doing cardio, and eating in a calorie deficit. And at the end of this challenge, we're gonna see if I can prove these haters wrong and get my swag back. Today is May 1st, 2023, and officially day one of this challenge. First things first, let's do a weigh-in, shall we? Okay, I don't know why, I'm just a little bit nervous, but um, let's go take a look. All right, it looks like I am currently 177.4 pounds, and this is our starting point. Now, I don't exactly have a goal weight in mind, like there's no specific number. I just want to see how much weight I can humanly lose in these next two weeks. Crunch fitness, baby! Now this right here is about to be my second home for the next two weeks. My first objective is cardio. And you already know I got that speed 3 incline of 12 going. And after 18 minutes, cardio is complete. Now, let's get to the fun stuff, shall we? Today was shoulder, so I decided to take the 80s for a spin. Then I did a few other machines before calling it a day. But on the drive home, something caught my eye that I just couldn't pass up. Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I had Chick-fil-A for dinner on day one. But don't worry, this is all part of the plan and I will explain soon. It is now day two of this challenge and I'm feeling great. Probably because it's only day two. I successfully managed to hit my three objectives yesterday, which were cardio, lifting weights, and eating in a calorie deficit. Although some of you may be questioning uh, that last one because of this. Well, newsflash, honey, I was able to fit that into my macros. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I'm good, I did that. So I went ahead and did a little bit of math and I discovered that my maintenance calories are 2,700, which means if I eat that many calories every single day, I will not gain or lose weight. Basically, I will stay the exact same. So I subtracted 500 and now my daily amount of calories that I will be eating is 2,200 calories. Quick disclaimer, uh, this amount of calories was calculated specifically for my body. Yeah, this bod right here, this bodacious peach? Anyway, now it is time for the gym. Cue the epic montage. Welcome to day three. The last two days have been what you call a uh, piece of cake. Although I cannot eat that, unfortunately. I gotta say, so far so good. I've been sticking to the diet, haven't had any slip ups, and you know what, so far I haven't really had any crazy cravings yet. That right there has been my main concern. That late at night the cravings are gonna hit, and before I know it I'm two rows deep into some Oreos. <sighs> Relax, it's fine, I'm chill, I'm good. So far today, I've had some protein pancakes, a protein shake, and a Greek yogurt. And, gotta say, you know, I'm feeling nice and full. The Tum Tum, it's filled to the brim. All in all, I'm feeling pretty solid. And I think it's about that time that we hit the gym. Unfortunately, today is leg day. Oh man, come on. This is 100% without a doubt my least favorite day in the gym. I mean, doing cardio, look at me go. I'm completely fine, I'm killing it. And then we have this. What the hell is even that? But what is most important is I pushed myself, I made myself do it, and now that is another successful workout in the books. Days four, five, and six were a challenge to say the least. My mom asked me to come home to watch our dog and I just, I knew this was gonna throw me off. Especially because I knew this would happen. It started out with me just eating a few chips, then somehow this margarita magically appeared in front of me and then before I knew it, this enchilada was begging to be eaten. And obviously I couldn't say no, um, that would be rude. Ooh. But don't worry, I still somehow managed to stay within my 2200 calorie limit for the day. How? 
I, I don't even know at this point. So here's where things got tricky. Now that I was no longer at my apartment, I didn't have a gym to go to. But after doing a little research, I managed to score a free three-day pass at Edge Fitness. This came in clutch because honestly, if I didn't have this, I wasn't really going to be able to do my cardio or lifting weights. Some people may argue that I could just run outside for cardio, but that's disgusting. So day five, I got in there, I knocked out my cardio, and I did a nice quick back workout. For day six, I actually wasn't alone. My friend Devin came with me to hit a chest workout, and then of course we ended things off with some sweet, sweet cardio, baby. Today is day seven, and we are officially halfway through this challenge. Something I didn't mention is that I'm not weighing myself at all until this thing is over, which means I have no idea if I'm actually making any progress, which scares me. Now that it's officially day seven of this challenge and I've been sticking to the diet, I've been going to the gym. I got to admit that I'm I'm pretty hungry. Yeah, I didn't really anticipate this happening so soon, but I'm definitely feeling those 2200 calories. Your boy's belly is rumbling, okay? Now don't get me wrong, this isn't anything crazy. I am definitely not starving. It's just the fact that my body was used to eating around 3000 calories a day. So now that I'm eating 2200, it's, it's kind of a big jump. In other news, I am so excited to get back into my gym that I'm used to, especially because today is shoulder day. I got into the gym, hopped on that treadmill, and I walked until my little legs could not walk anymore. And now that I am dripping in sweat, it is time to work these shoulders. I'm gonna be completely honest here. Part of me thought my shoulders might explode during this set. And after hitting a few other machines, that was yet again another successful workout. For the next few days, it literally felt like this challenge was flying by. Doing my cardio, lifting some heavy objects, and eating less food than I would like to. Consistency check? Yeah, I did that. What's up? Now, I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's getting slightly just a little bit harder. You know, I've just found that I've been more tired. I have less energy. I'm hungrier. Guys, just look at me. Come on. I'm wasting away. Um, this waste is snatched. Alright, everybody. We have made it to day 12. Now, although I was feeling that hungry, hunger start to kick in a couple days ago, I think my body is finally adjusting to this 2200 calorie diet. My body is transforming. You know, it's I'm getting used to it. It's not as bad. I've been trying to focus on eating more protein and that way it'll keep me fuller for longer. And you know what? It also helps build muscle. Not that I need any help with that. Cause like, damn. Anyway, this challenge is very close to coming to an end. I have still not weighed myself. I do not know if I've made progress and it's only been 12 days. So if I've lost weight, not lost weight, either way, I wouldn't really be able to see a difference. But I think we all know what time it is. So I'll see you at the gym. Guys, uh, I'm gonna be completely real for a sec when I say that I'm, I am legitimately nervous. Like, I know that I've been going to the gym and doing everything that I said I was gonna do, but I mean, you guys know I have not weighed myself this entire time. I really, genuinely do not know if I have made any progress. Um, this is, it, it's nerve wracking to say the least. The scale is waiting for me and I gotta say it's, it's pretty intimidating. Oh, okay, this is it. This is literally the moment I've been training for. All the cardio, all the meals, all the nights going to bed wanting some Oreos. After 14 long days, it is time for the final weigh-in. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. No. No f***ing way. No way. Oh my God, oh my God, where's my phone? Where's my phone? 171.8 pounds. There is no possible way. So you're telling me that I started this challenge at 177.4 pounds and I am now 171.8? I, I don't even believe, it. like, is this real? So you're telling me in two weeks, I managed to lose 5.6 pounds? <gasps> Oh man, okay, well, now that this challenge is officially over and I succeeded, I think it's safe to say that I proved my haters wrong and got my swag back. Mm -hmm.